and then explaining it, we talk about entrenchment, you take away market share from your competition, go in there and fight it silly, just fight and get your market back. Using intermediaries, direct users as targets, look for people who go from home to home to schools, you know, to engage. Mandatory consumption, I explained that, you broaden your product horizon using, using product and allies. New application, use promotions, extend, you know, help people to know how they can use it differently. New situations, repositioning, I mentioned um, Bon Vita, and as I explained before, you redefine markets. And we talked about the handling, the, the crisis situation early. It was the introduction we had. And we said one of the ways to handle crisis when a brand is really, sometimes the, the crisis is not like that kind of one situation that we've said, but when you see that a brand is purely in crisis, sales are down, you are running losses, you need to first break away from your immediate past. What were your, trace back the steps, what were you doing in the recent past that could have been responsible for this change? You need to change it. You know, somebody says, if you want to do, you want to see something new, you need to do something you've not done before. So look at what you were doing and you break away from it. Build a lighthouse identity. What is different? What can you think of that if you push it forward, it's, an, it's new. People just know you for something and they're like, oh, is it them? Oh, wow, let's go and check. Let's go and try. And that's about building the lighthouse identity. Then you assume thought leadership of your category. You see the bullish way with which Bon Vita just went and started marketing the new chocolate. They couldn't care whether somebody else was in the market and they used to be the best or they, they just decided to take it headlong and they were doing crazy marketing that nobody could have imagined. And that's what happens when you want to manage that. Create symbols of re-evaluation, new container, lovely colors that will make a consumer think again and say, hey, I think I need to actually check this out. And then sacrifice, overcommit. As I said, not usually in this market, but in a lot of markets, people will tell you, I give you this and I promise you money back. But I think a few people have started doing it. A lot of people who are selling e-products, a lot of people who are selling lifestyle products like um, weight loss, um, exercise regimes and all that, they actually tell you, I give you money bank guarantee if you use this and it doesn't work. And of course, the caveats are already there. Follow the examples. If you actually follow the mandate, it will work for you. So they don't need to pay you any money back. But guess what? Because people are so sure, if, if I don't get that, I'll get my money back. They go after it and they don't need to go claim any money. So you actually get to move up that way. Then use advertising and publicity as leverage. Just use your best. Let people push you out there and know what you have. And be become idea-centered rather than consumer-centered. And somebody will say that is a contradiction. We have said the consumer is our target. But by being idea-centered is going the Apple way. After you've satisfied the immediate consumer, you need to now start going forward. What new ideas? What, has, what hasn't the consumer thought about yet that you believe will be for the future? And you start gunning for that. That is really a way to really turn around and handle a massive crisis that you have had. And it's about taking on the challenger option. You know, it's challengers that do this. Market leaders hardly do that. It's people who are challenging, who come out and say, hey, do you know what? I'm tired of being number two, number three, number four. I need to go for the, for the number one seat. And they start doing crazy things. I mean, when Pepsi woke up in this market and started doing great adverts, putting all sorts of things with all those footballers, I'm sure a lot of people were like, ah, what happened to these people? It's like they just woke up. That's what challenger brands do. And so, without any more stories, let us go and manage our brands, our individual brands, our product brands, anything they've put in your hands to manage, even if it's a commodity they've given you to sell. Decide to brand it. Make a difference with it, and you'll see that it will be very profitable for you. Thank you very much.